This video chart presentation of Denison Mines Corp. Brought to you by stocks.com. Denison is an Amex or New York Stock Exchange market company trading our ticker DNN. See a little bit of a down day yesterday, down about a half a percent. Closed at 145, not bad volume, 280,000 shares traded. What I like about this stock is the higher lows since starting in July, kind of forming itself an ascending triangle over three months, trading over top of the short term moving averages and the 50 day. Bollinger Band starting to tighten up a little bit. I'm going to keep this on radar to break through this resistance point because there's a pretty nice upside if that happens. And you see we've got the MACD, nice upward trend, importantly holding over top of zero now. Also a bullish indication of trend. Histogram bar is trending right around zero, putting this in a bit of an indecisive mode right now. But again, it's pressed against some resistance. It's still leaning towards the bullish side of things, so it's certainly worth keeping on radar. PPO, similar position. ADX, still down very low, only registering at 16 and a half. Still not a lot of strength to any direction. And I'd definitely be looking for this, try and add some more strength to a direction, break out of a trading pattern, move into a true trend. Money flow index holding over top of 50. It's a good indication that people are paying higher prices for shares. Accumulation distribution, I'd be looking forward to break out of that box. It's a long-term sideways trend. Basically what that's saying is that this barometer of accumulation and distribution is somewhat equal. Jacob Money Flow says that there's been some selling going on over the last 20 periods, dipping down into the red. Tells me that sells have been outweighing buys over that time frame. But before that, being in the green, buying pressure was stronger. So getting a little bit of mixed signals and not getting a whole lot of hints as to which direction this may break based on those volume based indicators. CCI holding over top of 100. Technically speaking, that's still a hold position by that indicator. Buys and sells are the break above and below 100. Full stow still indicates there's momentum in this play, holding well above 50. Again, that's what I'd want to see happen. A break below 50 indicates some bearishness and weakness in the chart. And a nice upward trend going on with the tricks. It's a very smooth indicator of trend, holding over top of zero is bullish. RSI is their gauge of momentum, much like other indicators. Holding the upper half is a bullish position. And you notice right through there when it made a break and started holding above 50, that's when the share price really started to show some nice appreciation. Now, as always, it ultimately comes down to the candles. Quickly point out, that's the type of triangle I see right through there. And I see a definite resistance point at $1.50. It's also a key area because the 200-day moving average is just above that at $1.53. And for this chart to truly trying to go into bullish mode, it's going to need to break through that resistance and above that 200-day. On the support side of things, I would definitely want to see it hold right there around $1.40. Could potentially dip a little bit lower back to these old lows around $1.30. But by holding that $1.40 level, it's keeping the price per share over top of the 50-day moving average and basically forming a little double bottom over the last month, month and a half. Generally speaking, though, right now I see the trend being bullish, and I'd be watching for an increase in volume to try and blow through this point because I don't see any strong resistance coming into play again until up near $1.70 or so. Now, that's a nice upside, closing at $1.45, right around 20%, with the next resistance above that not up till around $2 or so. So any charts that have a close support level in and out of position to move above key moving averages and key resistance points are certainly ones worth keeping on radar to see how they perform from here forward. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the DNN chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. I strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure and do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or its video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.